What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. I have Jeremy from Sipper Social Club in the house tonight. We are doing the Pappy Van Winkle, 15-year-old. I know all you guys know who Jeremy is, uh, but just in case you do not, he has a YouTube channel called Sipper Social Club, and he's kicking ass right now. He's putting out some insane videos, and... Um, Today he put on a very special one. <laughs> I thought it was pretty badass. A little, uh, little special Halloween Devil's Night video. <laughs> Had some fun with that one, yeah. So, got a bunch of guys in the chat already. We got Malted in Montreal. Swami, what's going on, buddy? Swami. Uh, Graham Young. We got Travis Faircloth. Whiskey Throttle. Daniel, what's up, brother? Daniel. We got Go Hab. Mark. Mike Snook. We got Moe's Chun. What's up, buddy? All the big hitters tonight. That's right. Welsh, <laughs> Welsh Toro's in the house. What's up, brother? It's late for you, buddy. Late to the party, but it's late for you. So we we uh, we are happy to have you. Well, you're the man, dude. He's always um, pimping my stuff. He's yeah. <laughs> throwing me on Ralphie uh, comments and promoting the channel there. So I appreciate it, Welsh. Thank you, man. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, Welsh is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we got Don't Do It Yourself Network. Uh, he's a general contractor in the GTA. So yeah, actually, we met him at uh, the tasting. Yeah. At the tasting. Really yeah. nice guy. Yeah. Super nice guy. Yeah. James C, who we also met at the tasting, who gave us these beautiful samples right here of his own smoked jd i still have to try mm -hmm. haven't had a chance to do that yet but i will peter white's in the house peter white what's up brother arash how's it going buddy we got rada j whiskey throw saying bourbon more stores and I'm, I'm not sure what he's saying there daniel is um dipping into the bourbon <laughs> early. got jesse in the chat what's up man i just uh i passed him by at work I showed him the bottle. He's like, give me a sample of this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you got to win. You got to win tonight. That's, that's the rules. Yeah, we're giving away a couple samples like we always do when we crack something new here. So um, stay tuned for that. So um, we've been letting this sit for what? About? Well, we poured it, what, about 25 yeah. minutes ago? Yeah. Did we show this? Did you show this? I, yeah, I did. But yeah, show it again. Yeah, I should show that again. So last time when we did the, um, the Booker's Rye, we cracked it and let it sit. And just it opened up as we were kind of ending the video. So this time we were like, let's crack it first, let this thing sit for a little bit. Then when we review it, it will kind of be more where it needs to be as far as opening up. I'm geeking out right now. I'm not sure why. Like, <laughs> it's almost like I'm nervous holding this bottle. I've held some pretty crazy just bottles and it just drops it on the floor. I don't know. Well, the good thing it's carpet underneath this, so we don't have to worry too much. Let me double check the barcode. 2015. I don't know if you guys can see the barcode. Hey. There you go. There. So yeah, uh, 15. That indicates the year 2015. He's saying Pappy 15 is a, a 1,500 pounds in the UK. Yeah. Um, secondary market on the Pappy 15s in the US about 900 to 1,100, give or take. Yeah, that's just madness. Yeah, that's madness. We're gonna find out if it's worth it tonight. And as a special surprise for a lot of you people that can't stand when I call. The Pappy Van, the old Rip Van Winkle ten year old. I almost did it again. <laughs> <laughs> the old Rip Van Winkle ten year old uh, Pappy. Um, we're gonna actually do a head to head with these. Yeah. So if you guys saw the Pappy twenty three video that we did, this guy is calling all these things Pappy when they're not supposed to be called Pappy. They're called Van Winkle, <laughs> and he's like, the Pappy fifteen is just the Van Winkle ten aged five extra years. So. We'll find out. We got them both here. Sorry. We'll uh, we'll see we'll see how they uh, how they compare. Yeah. So should we start with the ten? Should we what, what should we do? No, let's go with the fifteen. Straight to the fifteen. Yeah. We've let it sit I long mean, enough. Poured, right? So. Yeah. All right, man. Well, cheers. Cheers. Very exciting stuff yes. right here. So the good news is it smells like bourbon on the nose, <laughs> and very Van very Van Winkle from what I'm used it to. It does smell very Van Winkley. And my first impression is that it smells like a more refined 10 year old <laughs> <laughs> of course you're gonna say that my theory is this is gonna be a lot better than 10 year old but it's gonna have all the same flavor profile same like nose profile as the 10 year old so what i'm getting from this is like you get that pappy characteristic the only one i've had before is a, is a 23 so it's not to compare it with but yeah you get those rich typical Caramel, brown sugar, vanilla notes. Yeah. Drink it from the bottle. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Who do you think? <laughs> Whiskey Dorado said that. 
the nose is beautiful. I'm like, you're getting that weeded characteristic. Yes, that it's really cherry, it's very weeded, isn't it? Yeah, that cherry that's almost like synonymous with weeded bourbons, I find. Not synonymous, but like goes hand in hand, I guess. No, Any so. oak on the nose on the 15? Um, not as much as the 23. Yeah, not as much as the 23. There's a little bit in there. It's a touch, yeah. But and I mean, all bourbon has a little bit of oak. Like mm -hmm. it, that's kind of what yeah. they're, you know, what makes their. There's a little bit of like a charred oak for sure. So the new digs here, uh, Graham mentioned it earlier. Um, this is the spare bedroom. My son is currently sleeping in one of the bedrooms, and my daughter is sleeping in the other one. And my wife's uh, doing kickboxing right now. So, <laughs> so father of the year award. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The good news is I'm at the end of the hallway before the stairs, so I'm I'm able to make sure that they don't go down. We can definitely hear them if they fall. <laughs> the gate's up. The gate's up. Oh, Habs is asking about the fish. Yeah, where is the fish? I was so, wondering about that myself. I had, to, I had to get rid of the fish, guys. Oh. I had to get rid of the fish, unfortunately. Did you give it to a good home, at least? I brought it to a good home. That's good. Yeah, I brought it to a good home, so... Unfortunately, the fish is no longer with us. <laughs> no, I mean, no longer with the family. It's it's still on the planet. Well, let's be honest. That fish was like your hated child that you didn't care about. You just threw it in the basement. <laughs> you know what? You fed it because you had to. <laughs> there was... <laughs> like Bart's brother. <laughs> Bart's <laughs> evil twin in the eye. The bucket Halloween of fish heads. heads. <laughs> bucket of fish heads every once in a while. It's like... What was his name? I don't know. That's a good question. You guys know, let me know yeah. the name of uh, Bart's evil twin. Go Habs is saying you flushed the the fish, didn't you? Honestly, that thing is <laughs> way too big to fit in anyone's you toilet. Didn't flush that thing. There's no way. It may or may not be in Lake Ontario. <laughs> go Habs <have> sushi. <laughs> you caught me, man. It was sushi. <laughs> He's gonna go on about this until I say something. You're right. Yes, it was sushi. It's sushi. All right, I'm going in for a sec. Go ahead. Did you do it? Yet? No, no. You had the honors. There's another comment. Oh, I saw um, who else is in the chat. Um, say what's up to. Oh yeah, Mash and Drum. What's up, Jason? How you doing, man? Jason emailed me because <clears throat> he's sending us uh, some some t-shirts, some Mash and Drum t-shirts. Oh nice. And he's like, "What size is Rob?" And I said, "Child extra small." And he's <laughs> like, "I don't got that." It's like <laughs> I'm like, "Well, I'm not gonna fit him." I'm a men's medium. <laughs> men's medium, Jason. Thank you for. Uh... <laughs> Next time, go through me. Don't go through this. <laughs> buckle up. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, no, it's definitely very nice. I just did. I don't like talking about it too much on my first sip. Mm -hmm. Is that a Port Nova? Yes, that's a Port Nova back there. That I, actually half of that Port Nova is gonna be Jeremy's. How do you guys see all this though? I can't even see it. Yeah, they they got some keen you guys are, eyes. You guys are snipes. It's like when you watch a movie and you like spot a bar in the yeah. background and you're what like, are they what drinking? was that? Yeah. <laughs> Too. You see like an old McCallan, you're like, oh. this pub is loud, but you two make a cute couple. Thanks, Daniel. Oh, so sweet. Mm. Honestly, the nose so far is incredible for me. It's opening up as we're smelling it. I feel, I still feel like it's tight. It's still tight. But I like that char note that you get from it. I don't know if you're mm -hmm. getting that, but I get it. You get a really nice char note. So smoother than most bourbons that I've had. Mm. That char note is really lingering for me. I'm even on the palate. I don't know if you're getting that. Yeah. The finish is a lot of char, a lot of wood char. Yeah, right. Yeah. Interesting. You get that like cherry um, sweetness mid palate, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then literally at the back of your throat, there's this like charred wood flavor. Yeah. yeah. It's like if you like took wheat grain and like mashed it into a piece of wood yeah and then drank that i'm gonna say on the palate this is a bit more oaky so far than the 23 from my experience i remember the finish on the 23 was a lot of oak like right at the very end of the finish you got that drying oak i don't get so much of that dry oak here yeah like a lot of like cooked down brown sugar mm. yeah and you get a little bit of baking spice in there too yeah, every sip I take, I get something else. You can chew on this. Like, the viscosity is crazy. Yeah, so this is bottled at 53 and a half, yeah. right? 53 107 and proof. 53, 53, yeah, you're right. 107 proof, same with the Van Winkle 10. Yeah. Same with the, um, what's the other one? The 107. The, and, uh, yeah, the, the 
The Weller. The Weller 107. What's it called? Old... I can't even think of this. Um, Old Weller Antique. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Scotty, this is uh, 53.5. That was, honestly, when I was gunning for one of the bottles, I was always hoping that I could land the 15 because of the ABV. Yeah, so I've definitely heard that the 15 is a lot of people's favorites because of the high ABV. Yeah. Um, this compared to the Pappy 23, um, so far, from what I've just had a couple sips, I would take the 23 over this. The 23 is soft. Like it's just yeah, it's buttery. so soft, and it's forty-seven percent. It's not like Mickey Mouse ABV, either, right? Right. Like as this is opening up now, it's like more cherry heavy. Mm -hmm. That wood char is like moving away from the nose. I feel. Mm -hmm. So it's super sweet on the front of the palate, and as it goes to the mid palate, same thing. Very very sweet. That's crazy, uh, and then. It goes to the finish. I'll tell you in a sec who that is. It goes to the finish and it gets really dry. You notice that? Like it's getting really dry on the finish and like a little bit like the of that charcoal oak kind of takes over. But all pleasant uh, like flavors. I know a lot of people that don't like that drying note, but I think it gives this character. Like it gives it something different. Do you dare put some water in this? I, I think we would be yelled at if we did. Really? I think I want to save... You want to just save. like drink it down and then put like a drop or two in the only yeah let's do I brought I did bring the, uh, the Kentucky the Kentucky limestone water so so I okay let's add a drop then actually let's you want to bring it let's bring it we, down should we do the ten year old first yeah let's do a comparison oh why don't you tell them about a uh, the CC uh, forty one tasting we went to okay so we went to um, CC and their um, linked their the company they hired to do their marketing, which is Praxis, uh, allowed me to invite you guys to uh, CC41 tasting. So we had a pretty good uh, turnout. Yeah, no, And then awesome. to our surprise, there was a very special guest. Um, <laughs> so the, the whiskey Bible writer himself joined us. Actually, we, I have a signed one right here somewhere. He stuck around and signed literally every single person's Bible. So Jim Murray was the surprise guest who like led the tasting. Uh, we chatted him up a bit. Yeah. Really interesting guy. You uh, know what? I gained a lot of respect for the guy in that moment. Like, I, you know what? He told us a really cool story, which I'll get into for a second. But I spoke with him at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. um, he had a second. I called him out for the Crown Royal Northern Harvest. I was like, what's up with that score? And he's like, haha, you're not the first person to like mention that to me. And yeah. then he's like, don't mention it again, kind of thing. He's yeah. like, kind of changed the subject. <laughs> I was like, fine, whatever. I just wanted to like, you know, call him out. Call him out because. And then you also said the, uh, the like, did you not taste the Law 40 cast strain? <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, have you had the Law 40 cast strain? And he's like, he couldn't remember. I'm like, so probably not. But then I looked through the Bible and he had a review for Lot 40. And he had a review for the Lot 40 cast strain, but it wasn't. Like last year's cast string. So I don't know what he was reviewing or if it was a really old one. I don't know. Anyway, I'm like, that should be your Canadian whiskey of the year without a doubt. Yeah. Um, but then we were talking with him at the very end of the tasting when he was signing the books. And he told us a really cool story about uh, back in like, what was it, the early 90s. Mm -hmm. He was uh, at Buffalo Trace and they offered to sell him all of their rye stock because they didn't see a market for rye back in the early 90s. And he said he had a pass on it, but like imagine that. Imagine buying up all the Buffalo Traces rye stock yeah. in the nineties and sitting on that for like 10, 12 years and then oh just having their barreled rye. Ugh. How much money you could make. <laughs> right? But a really cool guy, like yeah. awesome to share that kind of story with us. Absolutely. Um, kind of just shooting the shit at the end of the tasting. So uh what I found insane is that the man has to taste twelve hundred whiskeys a year. So yeah. every year he's trying 1,200 different whiskeys. Companies send them samples, and like literally, you literally have to sip and spit like that. You can't you can't drink 1,200 a year. If if you're drinking 1,200 a year, you have to have well, it's what, like, no, four, it's four day, four day, four day, no days off, no days off. Hashtag no days off. <laughs> hashtag, <laughs> hashtag grinding it up. <laughs> uh, to Jim Murray's credit about the northern uh, northern uh, harvest rye. What he tried, I think, was different 
than what everyone else got. Because if you look, there's a batch number. Crown Royal probably sent them, you know, their good stuff off the top of the line. But to his discredit, he named the same whiskey, Canadian Whiskey of the Year, year after year after year, right? The last two years after that, he still named it. So yeah. he likes rye. There's no doubt about that. If you look at his reviews, he favors rye a lot. Mm-hmm. And I think he does take value into consideration. If you look at a lot of Whiskey of the Year's, most of them retail for a decent price point. Yeah. Like you look at the BTAC, I know the secondary is huge on it, but the retail value is still very affordable, like 100 bucks US, 120 US. Yeah. Um, but still, he still lost a lot of respect, I think, for that Northern uh, Harvest. Harvest Rye. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. It, you know what? And I, like I said, I've knocked the guy myself. Yes. It, sometimes it does feel like he's getting some money slid to him under the table. It does seem like that. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, I don't know, man. I, I don't envy his job. I and do then, envy his job. I would <laughs> totally take that job in a second. I, you know what, man? I, like, <laughs> I think I could tolerate that for a year or two, but like, you got, that's got to take a health toll on your body. Like, man. <laughs> that, that means that you cannot choose your whiskey ever. You know what I mean? Like, you literally, if you want to just drink what's given to you, you can literally never choose your whiskey. Like you miss one day, you got uh, you got to drink eight. Yeah, minutes. I guess you're drinking like the half the stuff you drink isn't good. Yeah, but I don't know, almost it's good. Is I it? Don't I don't know. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of 40 percent. It seems like Jim Murray gives everything like ninety and up. Yeah. You know. I don't know. Maybe. Here's the ten in my right hand, and here's the fifteen in my left. So let's go for it. This fifteen is just opening up so nice now. It's like. Man, it's just gorgeous these, now. The nose on these two is virtually Ooh. identical. No way. Like, All right. No, the 15 is richer. But that's, again, because it's been open way longer, in my opinion. Like, you're getting that punch in the face because... No, I'm not saying I'm getting a punch in the face. I'm saying the flavors are, like, deeper and richer on the 15. Yeah, maybe. So, the 10 is sharper. It's a little hotter. Mm-hmm. Um, still very sweet. You don't get yeah, that oak. Good that oak uh that burnt oak on the back end at all i'm not getting as much as that like nice like sweet cherry note either 15 is definitely better mm-hmm. but you can tell it's the same whiskey just one's older is it the same mash bill i don't know if it's 100 percent the exact same mash bill but they are virtually identical you said last time it was the same mash bill. I th- i'm thinking it is i i don't know you tell me what do you think I'm thinking it's it impossible is. to know because I, I mean it could be it maybe could be, the 15 has a little more wheat. That's the only thing I could think of. <sighs> I don't know. It's got to be the same yeah. mash bill. Do a sip and then do a sip. Don't no water between. Tell me if you notice that much of a difference. I really want to know. I want to know the fact. Someone tell me what the facts are here. I want to know if this is the same mash bill. I can't tell you. I mean, I don't know. But I know I know I like the 15 better. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious what this is going to smell like in a month. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be phenomenal. Yeah. So, like, and that's what I'm trying to say is, like, yeah, we're, we're saying that the 15 is slightly better now. It could be a lot better. It could be miles better. Exactly. It, it could be better than the 23. Yeah, my, my I mean, I feel like the is whiskey's got, pretent- it's got yeah. so much potential when it oxidizes a bit more. Absolutely. <laughs> that's not nice <laughs> <laughs> Swami have another stout bud <laughs> Swami how's the date night going <laughs> Swami's at a fancy restaurant he's just on his phone <laughs> he's on his phone piecing. talking about how pretty I am just like how... talking shit to us <laughs> Mike is on point with the chirps though that guy <laughs> that's crazy he kills me oh Swami's chirping me that I don't have any subs oh yeah bud Okay, we'll see where I'm at after uh, how many years you've been on the channel for. <laughs> the chirps coming hard tonight. All right, well, we should give away a sample. Your bottle, your business. Right now, right? In my video today, the Bullmore uh, Devil's Cast, which uh, Satan made a guest appearance on the channel. Um. Satan gave out two marks for a score. What were both the marks? Oh, Mark, you got it. Six, 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 and 86. That is correct. 
Can I pour this without spilling? I didn't bring my funnel. The question was answered before you asked. What does that mean? He's saying someone already knew the question. I mean, if you if you knew what I was gonna say before I said it, then yeah. this is for you. You, don't, <laughs> you. you don't belong here. You should be in, in Vegas right now. Uh, so there you go, uh, Mark. Just message me through Instagram or email. It's Super Social Club at Gmail. Uh, I will send this to you. We have one more we're gonna do later, so don't fret. If you didn't get that one, we got one more. I just want to show you guys something. These are my glasses. One's empty. That's the ten. That's still the fifteen. I'm trying to nurse it a little bit. Look at Jeremy's. <laughs> I save for my. I don't know what. We want me to just chug it down. No. It's an expensive bottle here. No, no, no. Um, where the bottle set you back. So the pa the Pappy Van Winkle obviously didn't buy it for a secondary because that's just crazy. Um, got it like I got most of my expensive bottles, raffle win. Um, we're not allowed to discuss raffles anymore according to Whiskey Throttle, so <laughs> we won't say anything more than that. But it was a it was a uh, raffle win. Cost me 110 US dollars for the bottle for the win. Actually, you have to try the spring bank over here. Okay, Josh. Josh. So this spring bank right here is offside because whiskey shouldn't be this good. It's burgundy cask okay. as opposed to, you know. Cask strength. Yep. Age statement? Uh, yeah, 12 years old. 12 years old. That's gorgeous. And nose. That's gorgeous. It's phenomenal. And I think what they did is they took their best cask of bur uh, the burgundy one and then they put it in here. Because this is really, really nice stuff. But this is bonkers. Claire the third is saying bonkers. Bonkers is your favorite tasting note. Bonkers is like, that's like upper echelon <laughs> stuff. Like, you know that's it's going like, to be between 92 and 95. Like <laughs> Old school Adam West Batman, like, <laughs> bonkers. Bonkers is so 1990s. <laughs> but it's catching on, man. I caught a few reviewers using that note lately. Claire the third said he, has, he hasn't heard... Bonkers since kindergarten. 92 to 95 equals bonkers. <laughs> That's right. We, we should actually have that on a coin, I think. <laughs> Always be marketing. Hey, man, if you had a coin that says that's bonkers on it, I'd buy it. Mash and drum, thank you so much. He's saying cheers to all whiskeys <laughs> being bonkers. <laughs> Honestly, if all whiskeys were bonkers, <laughs> the world would be a better place. And honestly, tell me that's not really, really good, though. I'm loving this. Dirty ass spring bank. Spring bank? <sighs> You know what? Like, I'm gonna be the first to admit that I wasn't the first to tell the Springbank. Uh, you know, no malt reviews were, and they have all the old crazy ones that no one even knows about they or have, sees. And they're like, here's the best whiskey ever, freaking bottled, and yeah. it's like, those guys. I love those guys. Mike and Narby, number one, they're the nicest guys you guys will talk to. Like, super, super nice. They they do keep promising that they're gonna be on the channel soon. They're the we're best. trying to hook up. Maybe there was a best. time where they wanted me on their channel that night i couldn't make it then vice versa it was just chaos this summer but like man narby got married so enough said there's... if you haven't checked out malt reviews go subscribe the yeah. way that narby is describes whiskey it's just like he's bang on it's crazy on. man it's crazy he'll try something for the first time and give you like 25 tasting notes i'm like yeah yeah no that you they they've been drinking top of the line stuff for it's got to be a while man it's got to be a while their first video was a downmore 50 year old yeah. that was yeah. their first video yeah. these guys know what they're talking about like I, honestly they've had hundreds of whiskeys but they've had some of the best you can buy man i see one of their videos come up i pull over my car and stop and watch it <laughs> actually the malt review you should quote that and put that on a t-shirt <laughs> So the Springbank 12s that they reviewed, yeah, all the old ones from the, the 90s. 90s. Yeah, bottled and in the 90s. What they did with those Springbank 12s, I don't want to spoil too much, so go watch their reviews. But uh, according to them, what they did to those Springbank 12s was they topped it up with a little 12 year old, but most of it is under proof, like 30 year old whiskey, which is. Yeah crazy like yeah think about that so like they brought the level of abv up by using 12 year old no they brought it down no they had to bring it up no because... they brought it down what are you talking about 
So the spring bank, the hundred oh, proof, the hundred proof spring banks, the right. twelve year old hundred yes. proofs. So, yes. They brought that instead of using water they used to bring old, the ABV down. They used old stock. Right. Okay. So like I was just saying the exact same thing, but the other right. Way they used underproof old whiskey to bring it down instead of water. Yeah. That's so insane. like instead of That's releasing insane. it at well, it was still technically cash strength then, but instead of like your natural cash strength of a twelve year old. Sorry about all the construction trucks outside. This is like a new area. Um, anyway, <laughs> instead of like watering it down to bring it under cash strength or barrel proof at 12, um, I got to get to that in a second, but like they're adding 30 year old spring bank to it. Insane. Like insane. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, can you imagine a distillery being like, we should bottle something at a hundred proof, but let's not add water. Let's old, add old stock spring bank to bring it down to a hundred. Okay. I don't even know what the retail price for those would have been. Probably nothing. Under, probably under like, 100 bucks? Yeah, like right? way under. 12 year old whiskey? In, in the, the 90s? In the 90s? Way under. Way under. That's why we need a, we need a whiskey time machine. And like um, Sam Morelli, who is that like famous Italian bottler, the 12 year old Sam Morelli bottling of that is yeah. regarded as one of the best whiskeys ever made. Well, they buy stuff that's like literally in the top like whatever 1000 on whiskey base like they won't buy many many things outside of that i know well they're searching for the best whiskey in the world yeah i mean so are we but we don't have that kind of budget <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that kind of budget <laughs> no maybe maybe swami said something oh that's the from now on whenever something goes wrong i just blame it on swami <laughs> yeah where is freaking scott with the little uh, wrench to delete comments from swami <laughs> <laughs> I know I don't have many people with that wrench. I should probably name a couple more. <laughs> Add modern. There you go. Malted in Montreal. See, I love you, Swami. No, that was counterproductive. We need someone to monitor Swami, not Swami. He's gonna have to monitor himself. He's gonna now. monitor himself. Give me a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you you take care with that wrench, buddy. Don't go overboard. <laughs> gonna abuse the power for sure. <laughs> Tommy's already abusing his power, <laughs> deleting Matt's crazy That's comments. crazy. He timed him out for 300 seconds. I know you could do that. I oh. didn't know you could do that either. That's so awesome. That's he just timed him out for 300 seconds. <laughs> That's amazing. I told you you'd abuse the power. <laughs> it didn't take him long. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. So back to malt reviews. Malt if reviews. you guys haven't checked them out, Check them out. Best, great guys. Best channel on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I agree. Honestly, one of the one of the channels that really like pushed me into the whiskey world. Yeah. Um, someone wanted a sample. Send me a sample. <laughs> well, we should give away the next one. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, Jesse got it. Candy, candy strawberry. Strawberry. That's that is the right. One. Jesse. That is Good job, bud. That's right. You got it. This guy is. What is he like? He's uh, supposed to be working right now, but he's not. He's watching us. Although only Jesse got it. <laughs> Juno song is saying bonkers. <laughs> no, well, this idea. is good. I don't have to ship this one out, so save on shipping costs. There you go, bud. You want to try some of that? Yeah. Rob, drink cream de mint. <laughs> Cre <laughs> creme, creme de mint. I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's like a liqueur. It's for... Is that a French liqueur? Yeah. Like uh, Quebec. <laughs> you put a lot in there that doesn't belong. I took French up until grade nine. Grade um, nine. My this or is or ninth grade if we're uh, talking to our American friends. Ninth grade. So in grade nine or ninth grade, my ninth grade French teacher came up to me and she said, "If you promise to drop French next year." I will pass you. <laughs> I'm like, that's a done deal. <laughs> that's a done deal. You're that much of a fucking terror. She you? just didn't want me in that class <laughs> anymore. She's like, this guy, honestly. Wow. <laughs> so that's just a, a little taste of my high school career right there. <laughs> <laughs> Went on to become a teacher. Went on to become now a teacher. Now he teaches your kids. <laughs> For those of you concerned about Jeremy driving home, <laughs> his portions are a lot smaller, and he still has a lot well, left. Here's what we poured. I mean, you can tell the difference. <laughs> Rob pour, my pour. <laughs> That's why his bottles last a month and mine last two years. 
That's why I try to trade them off to Jeremy within the first couple of weeks. And I still have them all. <laughs> Marilyn Manson has his own absinthe. Does he? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, it's called Manson. Yeah, this amber is good. It's really good. I had some pretty great whiskey tonight. Wow. Oh. <clears throat> but that's not very different than most. Right. That's like most nights when we yeah. get together. We yeah. save all the good stuff when we're in our... That's true. We're sharing with you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> the 005. The 005. That was the best amber I've ever had. Double Amaru 005 is the best Amaru that I've had. Yeah. Everyone in the chat tonight, we're yeah. seeing all the regulars. We all have the all the guys. Regulars. All the guys that are always supporting us, yep. commenting on our videos, giving the thumbs up. That's it. Appreciate it. What's that new one? Fortnite or whatever? Yeah, I, I don't like that game. My kids, all, every day, they're asking me to download that game. Oh, they want to just... Like, they, yeah. <laughs> like, download Fortnite so we can, like, yeah. up our levels as you <laughs> just rape you. Yeah. I rage quit all the time. Do you? What in uh, Call of Duty? Call of Duty. Yeah. You know how hard it is to play against little kids in Call of Duty. <laughs> They're so good and so you fast. You get owned, but you get you get pwned. 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 By you know how embarrassing <laughs> it is. What's pwned? Like, what, what does that even mean? It's like you get owned, but it's like I don't know where the P comes from. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm a Call of Duty guy. I have every single Call of Duty, and the newest one. I don't know what happened to me, but I'm so bad at it. Are you? So bad. I die in one second. I'm an, I spawn, I run, and then I die. <laughs> and then I start over again. Peter Way's like, you know what? Sometimes you got to go back to those old school games. Yo, right? Pong is fun. Go back to your Atari. <laughs> Pwned is so MySpace 2005. <laughs> yeah, we did all right. Great show. Great show. I think, uh, yeah, it's been a little less than 10 minutes, but I think it's... I think it's a good point. Good we time we to wrap started it up. talking video games, so I think that usually means it's yeah, time to wrap it up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's like <laughs> the song starts playing and like Fred Penner's. Uh... <laughs> what is that closing time? <laughs> yeah, closing yeah. time exactly. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much for joining tonight. I uh, hope you enjoyed our little unveiling, uncorking um, yeah. of the Pappy Van Winkle fifteen. Mm -hmm. We also had some of the old Rip Van Winkle 10-year-old, which I still say is a pappy. Um, you guys are awesome. Subscribe to this gentleman if you haven't already. Sipper Social Club, I'll put it in the link below. He's going to pop this video up, edited and reduced, and much better than our ramblings and <laughs> ongoings that were at times incoherent. Um, it won't get better. It will just get shorter. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it'll get a little better. <laughs> but thank you guys very much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the super chats. Thanks for coming in to watch. That's the most important thing. Uh, really appreciate all of you guys. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Have a good night.